Discerning shoes here for blue collar prepping. A little libation while I'm doing this week's project. Sorry, Manders, changed my mind. And what we have here are bacon grease candles. I've been wanting to make them for years after I saw some crazy Etsy post, I don't know, you know, four million years ago. So, a little follow me over here. I've got the bacon grease that I've collected. It's sitting actually on a wire mesh inside there so it's not in contact with the pan, the water, it's a really tiny boil. Filtering it through it, my screen here into another heat saucepan. I wish it was a little finer mesh, but you know, we work with what we got. Then we come along here, and as you can tell, I have all these little repurposed candle wick holders. Now, I kind of the idea behind this was just do with whatever it is around the house, multi purpose things, you know, as opposed to just buying a bunch of stuff that you got to move around. Like I said, I wish that mesh was a little finer. Get a few more of the impurities out, but this is actually doing pretty good. And of course you can cook and bake and all that good stuff with bacon grease. I usually do. I usually use my bacon grease when I make bread. Sometimes. So, I'm gonna let these sit. Actually put a little bit more in there. And uh, one of the great things about this terrible time in our history of all the fear and the foolishness and the is the fact that uh, I reached out to a local group page, if you will, looking for candlewicks because here in northern Michigan it's not too badly quarantined, but it's some of the more stringent places in the country. And so getting around and trying to find these kind of things are, are, are were difficult. And while these people are you know being around and being fearful and stuff like that. There's still all those in the community that are still reaching out to help one another. And I got a wonderful lady in my community gave me, gave me a half a dozen. She just, I just stopped by and she just gave them to me. So, which is great. There are still people out there that are willing to help each other out and build that sense of community, which I think is fantastic and something we need to focus more on. And I'm a big proponent of that. I've been harping on that for years here on this page. So, uh, there we have it. We'll see what they are. They've got great gifts. I got my milk crate right here because it's northern Michigan. It snowed today. So to help these bad boys cool down a little bit, I'm going to attempt to load them in the milk crate and then take them outside where they can cool and they can gel and not screw up the whole works once I'm done. So we'll see. We'll have to let you know. Until such time, be good, be safe, and if you can't be safe, be good and dangerous.